hey family welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another mod overview this is my boy jamari y'all i found jamari off of a tumblr website and i downloaded him and i just thought that he was just so adorable but jamari is a ladies man and he is in the firefighter career it's the sims 4 active career firefighter mod now y'all <laughs> I had so much fun playing with this active career mod and having my sim to live in an apartment and yo so my sim he mm, yeah he's been a little thought he every time he goes to put out a fire he actually ends up putting out another type of fire if you catch my drift over here we have Zayra Salarin I don't know she's our next door neighbor actually she has a crush on us and she comes to visit us all the time but she really just be wanting Jamari for his goodies I'm gonna be real with you because sometimes whenever he tries to make like flirtatious moves with her he's like uh, -uh. she's like uh-uh I'm, I'm not interested so I don't know Zayra gives Jamari like mixed signals but they're really cool but right, see what I'm saying? So Jamari is basically the ladies man. Anyway, so okay, so if we look over here in the panel, right now he is in the level four firefighter career. He is a hose handler. Yesterday he went and put out one fire and when he went and put out a fire, he actually met, um, hello ma'am, where is your clothes and where is your clothes? He actually met Dawn Cook. Dawn just kind of fell for him. I don't know why, but she fell for him. See, this is what being a firefighter gets you. <laughs> I'm telling you, he goes and he puts out fires, but that's not the only type of fires that he puts out. <laughs> okay, so I'm sitting here trying to wait on the days to kind of pass by so he can go back to work, but he actually got this mootlet scared thinking about the fire from the memory system. This is Kawhi Stacy's. I, I want to say this is Kawhi Stacy's memory system. Um, it's hard to stop thinking about what happened. So he is in the firefighter career and I guess seeing a bunch of fires, um, maybe there's a little PTSD going on and um, I would imagine like if you got to battle fires and stuff like that that are out of control and you're having to save somebody's life, I would imagine that that would create a little PTSD. So if that's the case, we're actually going to... Um, there is a mod where you can schedule psychotherapy that costs $250. So we are going to schedule some psychotherapy and maybe we can, we can talk about what we've been experiencing at work to help us um, be a little bit more calm. So he's talking on the phone and he's just scheduled his um, appointment. So he is going to his appointment for his psychotherapy. Jamari has returned back from his psychotherapy and he got a moodlet that says emotionally drained. Um, Jamari and his therapist worked on so much today that Jamari is an emotionally exhausted empty shell. Now will be a good time for a long nap to recuperate. Um, it looks like maybe we have put out too many fires because homegirl water broke and she done had a baby on us. What? <laughs> All right, so we have work in about two hours, but before we um, go to work, I'm gonna have Jamari to, oh my gosh, I can't believe dude is a daddy now all of a sudden um we're gonna go over here to this air fryer over here let's air fry something very quick i didn't know you could air fry a hard-boiled egg okay so we're waiting on our air fryer and again this is um a new functional mod it's super cool super cool um and then they just grab the um food out of the air fryer so we got a pop up here jamari's firefighter shift is starting now care to join him or should he go to work alone all right, so once we are on our lot, it says firefighter duties. Welcome, Jabari. It's finally time to start putting out fires and save lives. Be aware of notifications uh, of a fire that can happen anytime. No pressure and good luck. So I got this lot off of the gallery, and if I can find it, I'll make sure that I link it down below um, or the gallery ID. What you have to do in order for this to function as a fire station and to be compatible with Kiara Sims um, active firefighter mod, you have to set the lot type as a fire station you can find this lot type with uh zerbu's um lot venue changes mod um but also be aware that if you have little miss sam's venue changes mod she might already have the fire station in her mod so you know just kind of read the instructions on how to install the venue changes mod additionally what's also required for this fire station to function according to kiara sims you have to have the front desk and the front desk can be found in the catalog with get to work so i'm assuming that get to work is a requirement for this to function correctly and so once you have that you can click on the front desk and you can staff the front desk if you like 
whenever there is a fire situation um the little icon a red icon will appear right here i actually enjoy watching my sim um, go to this lot and participate as being a firefighter because I know that he can um, You know work on gaining his fitness skills and stuff like that. Jamari is really Getting it my goodness, you know, you don't have to you know, you don't have to fight to be a firefighter, right? You need to chill like you you doing the most you doing the absolute most but okay do you and i like the fact that the npc firefighters or our co-workers they're also very interactive with the objects around and they're you know they pretty much they'll talk to you a little bit and they'll just work out non-stop and then you know they'll go upstairs and have themselves a little fun with the foosball table all that jazz and so like I said, I really just enjoy um, watching my sim be a firefighter and just work. And then also, this is really good for storytelling purposes. The uh, release date is November the 30th. <gasps> Uh-oh. Okay, so I was just talking and rambling, but it looks like we have a pop-up. Travel to lot on fire. The fire station has been notified of a fire. Please come as soon as possible. Yes, and see so you guys see this little red thing right here. So we click on the desk and we click on travel to a lot on fire. Y'all, this is so exciting because you never know what's going to happen or who you're going to meet when you do travel to these lots. Um, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to send your sim to a lot fire? It will transfer to another lot and we're going to click on OK. And then we're going to go there. It's time to defeat the fire be careful because while some fires are visible some are not there are some invisible fires called ethanol fires you must use your sense of smell to put these out and a good luck oh this is exciting <laughs> so our to-do task is extinguish a fire and later on we need to write a safety uh, fire god and over here you get a notification that says the fire has started nearby maybe your sim should put it out before it spreads out of control and let's kind of take a look at whose home we are at so judith ward her house is on fire and this house is freaking huge i hope it isn't an ethanol fire because i honestly cannot tell where the fires are right now i know the other day when i was playing around um the fires were oh is that a fire down there am i oh judith discovered the fire so where is it am i tripping oh judith she's running around <laughs> wait this is not judith this is judith's daughter this is her daughter oh my goodness girl where where's the fire at she's like help me help me help me please <laughs> where's the fire i hear the fire alarm where is it oh my goodness y'all I wonder if maybe there's a gas leak or something like that. And typically our other firefighter friends will come also. So our other firefighter friends, they are here. And sometimes your fighter, firefighter, ugh, say that, say that five times fast. Your firefighter friends sometimes will also discover the fire and they will put it out themselves. Jamari is over here using the golden throne and he is not doing what he needs to be doing. Oh, the sprinklers went off. Oh, okay. So the, it looks like the fire was actually down here. And I didn't know she had a sprinkler system installed, so I'm not really wait a minute. Did he just steal some money? Bro, oh, this vault has like three hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars in it. Judith Ward just left her vault open. What? Child, if you don't think we finna go over here and steal some money, I don't know what you thought. Uh let's steal some money from the vault. How much do we wanna steal? Child, let's steal. Can we steal all of it? No, nah, we're not going to steal all her money. We're going to let's do like $20,000. You know, we got two new babies. Nah, freak that. We're going to do $50,000. We got two babies in there. I know, I know our baby mama's going to put us on child support. So, baby, look, when the opportunity presents itself, <laughs> we just going to sneak on over here. Act like nothing's going on. Oh, it looks like there's a fire in here. Hmm. Oh, look at all this paper. Oh, that's a lot of money, honey. Oh, <laughs> I cannot with you, Jamari. I cannot. He's like, who is this? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> it's me, Jamari. I got bands on top of bands. Look. Okay, Jamari, you need to, you, you doing too much, Jamari. Once again, we got to get up out of here before um Miss Ward returns home and we going to, and we get caught. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Um, but I do want y'all to see um, us put out a fire. So how about we do this? I used the cheat command and, you, and did a fire. So I'm gonna go over here and extinguish this fire. Here, here, you help remove the fire and save lives. It's time to get back to work. So head back over to the fire station. So I want y'all to see it in action here. Okay, here we go. Bam, yes. 
not you being scared to put out the fire. Oh, Lord. You can't be a firefighter and be scared all the time, Jamari. That's just not going to work. So, anyway, so let's go ahead and head back on to the fire station. And to do that, we click on our sim and we click on return to fire station. All right, so we are back at the fire station after putting out that fire. Why is Judith Ward here? Did she know that we stole some money out of her vault? And <laughs> is she trying to find us? No. Judith Ward came to the fire station, y'all. What? <laughs> She's like, uh-huh, I know that somebody stole my money. Once I find out who stole my money, it's over for you. <laughs> so you all let me know what you think about this firefighter active career. Let me know down below. Jamari did a fantastic job today. Promotions and saving lives while defeating the fires are surely in the future. So I was trying to have Jamari to pay his rent, but it says you need to pay child support first. Why child support $5,000? Wait, wait a minute. This is highway robbery. No. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we gotta uh, select the Sims who will receive child support. Okay, let's pay child support then. Oh my goodness, we just paid $5,000 of child support. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry. Okay, now we gotta pay our rent. Oh, we just paid $500 in rent. And then he had just paid $300 in utility bills. Y'all. <laughs> But it's all good though, you know, thanks to Judith Ward, you know, we got some money. We got some money, so we, we are all good. We all good. Okay, so I decided to switch gears and go over to a Zara, however you say her name, Zara, Zara, whatever her name is. I decided to go to her apartment. We have our baby over here, but look, we only live in this apartment and it is a one bedroom apartment. This is Jamari's baby girl right here. And where is Jamari? Jamari lives right across the hall. Jamari is outside playing in the rain. Okay, we're gonna go over here and ask our baby father for some money. So since Jamari is outside and he's been living his best life child free, and he hasn't seen his children we're gonna go out here and we're gonna ask Jamari for some money and in order to do this we have to be good friends or at least friends with your Sam to ask them for some money right here and we can beg for 20,000 beg for a thousand ask for 5,000 ask for 2,000 and ask for a thousand I kind of wish we could ask for even more <laughs> but we're gonna ask for five thousand dollars more we just got um our child support we need some more money you know and Jamari got a lot of money right now especially since he done stole from judith ward so we're gonna ask him for five thousand dollars and let's see if he gives it to us take care of yourself and he gave us five thousand dollars it's the least you could do let's see if we can ask him for some more money um we can't ask him for it again because we just recently asked him so let's ask him for two thousand dollars so that'll be seven thousand dollars all together let's see what he says he said, here you go. <laughs> you also cannot ask for money from somebody that's in your same household. It has to be someone that's outside of your household. So let's invite our friend over here, Miss An An Anavi. I don't know what her name is, but anyways. Can we ask for $5,000? Anavi, you got $5,000 off you girl that I can have? Hey, sorry, I don't have that type of money. So <laughs> Anavi does not have $5,000 to spare us. Actually, um, whoever you're requesting from has to have at least that amount and then some to give it to you. But what happens if we beg for $2,000 again? I wonder if she'll give it to us. Oh, so I guess the begging actually works for the 2000. What if we ask for 2000? She okay, she's going to give us $2000. Okay, Gary, you just gave us $6000. What's the difference from me asking for $5000 and begging for it? So you'll give it to me if I beg for it. Got me out here looking stupid, but you won't give it to me if I ask for it. What? What if I ask for $1000? I want I'm going to beg for two thousand dollars then i'm going to ask for a thousand okay she's steady giving us two thousand dollars when we beg for it like what okay she gave us a thousand dollars but if we ask her for five thousand dollars she gonna be stingy like no nah, i can't give you all of that one one she's like i can't give you five thousand dollars in one lump sum now hey sorry i don't have that type of money girl if you don't get up out of here you just gave me like almost ten thousand dollars but when i asked you for five thousand dollars up front you don't want to give it to me. 
girl bye anyway i hope you all enjoyed this video if you like what you see go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for me go ahead and check out some of my other videos such as my jefferson let's play and some more of my other mod overviews and a couple of my speed builds if you would like i also have some helpful tips videos so go ahead and check those out as well and until next time i thank you and i appreciate all of you all for sticking around here and just hanging out with me and having fun playing the sims until next time bye